Hey, what's happening guys? I'm Jared Bronstein and welcome back to IO. We just released a ton of sweet clothing you guys gotta check out and this week only, we'll be giving you guys a discount if you use the promo code posted right down below. I'm also gonna respond to some of my favorite comments from another video at the end of this video. Now I think it's safe to say that Donald Trump is definitely gonna be president, whether people like it or not. Personally, I'm over this whole Trump hate train, but uh, it seems like other people aren't. But others don't seem to be so willing to move on. Back in October, Shannon Coulter started a trending hashtag, grab your wallet, which encouraged people to boycott businesses that carry any Trump product or did business with a Trump family. Is this really what it's come to, guys? Either way, the hashtag started to die down, but recently started trending again, thanks to a website that is constantly being updated. Although there's a ton of companies on this list, the ones that really stood out to me were Amazon, Hudson's Bay, and Nordstrom's. Obviously, all department stores or similar in the sense that these three companies run stores that carry hundreds of thousands of products. It's pretty obvious that they'd carry Ivanka as clothing or accessories. Now who's on the list of companies to consider boycotting? Forbes, NASCAR, and People Magazine are a few names that you guys would probably recognize. And they're on the list because they're supportive of Trump. Now whether that means someone at the company might have donated to his campaign or publicly endorsed him as well, they're just companies that you should think about boycotting. Not necessarily boycott, but think about it for sure. But the thing that I really don't understand about all this is what these people think boycotting these companies and stores will do. Either way, Trump is gonna have a ton of money. There's no doubt about that. So if you stop buying his product, he probably won't care that much because the guy's a millionaire, like a multi-millionaire. And if you're still trying to protest Trump, well, again, I don't see the point because as we all know, he's gonna be president. And I'm totally for standing up what you believe in. I'm not saying you shouldn't protest if it's something that you believe in, but instead of protesting one single person because of his beliefs and opinions, which a lot of people disagree with, why not just protest those beliefs and opinions? I just feel like things have gone from I'm against racism to I'm against Trump because he's racist. Let's say these protests make Trump turn into the guy people want him to be. There's still gonna be hundreds of thousands of people all over the world that still do hate people because of their sexual orientation or race. So instead of just protesting one person, maybe we should just be protesting these ideas of racist and sexist ideologies. But if the people that protest Trump put in the same amount of effort to protest things like racism, I think we'd see a lot more progress much quicker than we've seen previously. Now again guys, this is just my opinion. As always, I wanna know what you guys think, so you gotta let me know in the comments down below. I will say I don't endorse Trump, but I also don't think boycotting stores that carry his products is going to change anything in the slightest. And I'm not saying I hate Trump, I'm not saying I love him. Truthfully, I'm neutral. I don't really care that much anymore. But now I'm gonna be answering some of your comments because I know you guys really do love comment time. In the video we did about Jordan Jackson, an eight year old boy who was bullied, a lot of you guys sent your best wishes and it was nice to see all the love. As mentioned in that video, although I'm not sure if they'll ever end up seeing your comments, it's the thought that counts and the fact that you guys took the time out of your day to write something nice and send the Jackson family your best. Now as of right now, we don't have an update on their situation, but should any more news of this story come out, we'll be sure to let you guys know. You can also check out their GoFundMe page, which is in the description of the video we did on them. Now once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like, share it with friends, and make sure to subscribe. I'm Jared, and I'll see you guys soon.